everyone and welcome to another video. This video is looking at the history of Lonsborough. Now Lonsborough is a small village, an estate village in fact, just to the north of Market Wheaton. The origins of Lonsborough go back to the Roman period. A Roman road that is thought to have linked Brough and Moulton was found in the 18th century. Coins and pottery dating to the 3rd century were also found at this time. The village seems to have thrived during the Anglo-Saxon period, as there was an Anglo-Saxon cemetery dating from the 6th century, also found. During the medieval period, there were three other settlements within the parish. East Horp, which was demolished during the landscaping of the park in the 1730s, Talthorpe, which was abandoned in the 14th century at around the time of the Black Death, and Cleaving. At the time of the Norman Conquest in 1066, the land belonged to the Archbishop of York, forming part of the Everingham Estate. In the early 12th century, the manor was tenanted to the Fitzherbert family, and was with them up until 1389, when it passed to the Broomfleets. Incidentally, Fitz was often a way of uh, demonstrating illegitimacy in the family, so there's a good chance that the Fitzherbert family were the illegitimate children of somebody called Herbert. Anyway, I digress. So, Later on, the estate passed to Lord Clifford through marriage. In 1589, the old hall was built. In 1643, Richard Boyle inherited the estate on the death of his father-in-law, Henry Clifford, who was descended from Lord Clifford. Boyle did a lot of work on improving and extending the old hall and also built the deer arches, the stables and the almshouses in the village. During the 1730s, a lot of landscaping was done in the grounds. In 1753, the estate passed to the Devonshire family. However, they didn't spend much time there, preferring their house at Chatsworth. And in 1818, they demolished the old hall, which had been somewhat neglected over the years that they'd had it so they could use the stone at Chatsworth. And over the following years, the farmland was enclosed. However, in the Victorian period, the origins of the present hall were built. You know, it was originally built as a hunting lodge, but was later extended. In 1845, George Hudson, the railway king, bought the estate. And the reason he did this was purely to stop a rival company from being able to make a railway through from York to Market Wheaton and on to Beverley. In 1850, the estate was sold to Lord Albert Denison. And later in the 20th century, it passed to Mr and Mrs Lipton Booth, who were mill owners. On their deaths, the estate passed to Dr. R. F. Ashwin, and the Ashwin family still own the estate to this day. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short look at the history of Lonsborough. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in a future video.